Humphrey Repton was the leading landscape designer in England, and you could consider Europe as well. Repton was born in 1752. He came from an affluent family and had an excellent education both in England and abroad. His interests were really in art and literature. And I believe that he pursued these very much to the detriment of making a living for himself, either from his farming or from his commercial speculations. So at loose ends, in a way, he set himself up as a professional landscape designer. Repton was socially adroit, he was witty, he was presentable. He was not like your ordinary nurseryman with dirt on his knees. This was a person who expected to speak with landed gentry on equal terms. Now, he was not the first professional landscape designer in England. And in fact, throughout the 18th century, there had been a long tradition of aristocratic patrons hiring people to reconfigure their estates. The reason that he was so important is that he was a very successful professional, but he also was a master at publicizing his work and in using the print medium to describe his theories and to recruit clients. Now, English accomplishments in landscape design were already well known in countries like France and Germany. But then again, Repton having published elegantly illustrated, beautifully printed portfolios like the sketches and hints on landscape design of 1795 greatly impressed European connoisseurs.